Hey guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Black Clover episode 126. So, last time we had the, uh, whatchamacallit happen? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I did kind of brain fart for a second though. The Black Bulls were heading back to where they normally live, bringing their mansion with them in order to get it set up again. And we had them also going and recovering the three magical beasts that, that Yami has kept in there. And it turns out that they're a lot more friendly than we uh, first anticipated. So it was a fun little goofy episode of uh, basically the the Black Bulls getting back to the typical Black Bulls antics, you know. So I had fun and I'm looking forward to where we go this time. So alrighty guys, we're going to start here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. Ah uh, yes. The different beginning. Also reminding me to turn subtitles on. Yes, with guts and hard work. Ah. Uh. Even if you're a peasant, even if you're poor, anyone in this world can still shine. Nice. I'm having one of those one of those days. I'm very much it's interesting because I do these videos, but I don't really think of it as the same thing. I'm very much an introverted person. Um I I get very much exhausted from like conversation even just like more simple conversation you know like that doesn't go on very long but it's uh it's father's day so happy happy father's day even though most of you guys that are seeing this it's gonna be well past father's day but if you're a father hopefully you had a good day um but but yeah so i was hanging out with like my family and everything and uh we all got together and stuff like that and it's just I can talk a lot when it comes to things that I enjoy, like video games and anime and other TV shows and stuff like that, but most of my family doesn't like care about that stuff, so it's like, whenever I'm with them, I never really talk about that stuff, you know? So it's really like them discussing politics and every now and then I like chime in or something, but even just like sitting there listening to them, man, it wears me out, so I'm like... I'm, like, exhausted today. Whoa! That's an episode title. I wonder if they're gonna bait me. It was, uh, in case you don't know the episode title, it was, like, The Black Rose's Confession. Which, obviously, they want me to think it's, uh... What's her name? Charlotte? The, uh... The thorn girl, uh, captain that has a thing for Yami, but hides it. I think her name's Charlotte. She's, uh, is she gonna actually say that she has a thing for him, or... Or are they baiting me and it's a different kind of confession? Curse Wig? Do I know what that is? Huh, <laughs> eh. Hey. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Of course. At least they're consistent, right? We know that every time we're gonna see them, they're gonna be, don't call me sis, call me captain. 
<laughs> I think you nailed it. <laughs> of course, she is just going to explode. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, what a reaction. <laughs> I don't think Soul's getting it. Oh my god. Of course. <laughs> yes, put on the front. Don't worry, just like most anime characters, you look fine all the time. <laughs> <laughs> ben Doxe. It's not what you think. So Curse Weg is the curse that she was under, then? Oh my god. Bye! Oh my god. She is just... leaving. She does... Ha <laughs> thanked. Oh my god. What? What are you doing, Charlotte? Calm down! Yeah, go put the baby back. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna end up being the Wizard King. Being weird again. Remember when he's disguised as like an old lady to watch people? Oh, and right into the river. Oh my god, did she run across the river? They, they can see all that. This is ridiculous, guys. What are we watching? <laughs> she said that in English? What? Come back! Okay. Let's, uh, maybe wind down a little bit. That was pretty crazy.
<laughs> oh my god. Mm. And then Yami just walks right in. This is kind of good because I don't fully remember. I was thinking like, oh boy, more recap, you know, but I don't fully remember everything about the curse stuff. Like... I, I remember it going out of control. I remember Yami just, like, cutting his way in and just, like, being like, hey, could you stop it? <laughs> but I don't really remember, like, what happened with it, really. What causes it. I don't even know if we ever learned in the episode, though, so... <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> nice. I vaguely remember that. She return? <clears throat> okay. But I had to rely on a man recently. <laughs> They're going to be like we all know. Wow, she's so she's just telling them. Interesting. So she's at least confessing to our squad. So there is a Is he going to hear? I don't think that's a reaction they're gonna have. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Nice. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> How many of them? Oh my god. Pretty much all of them. <laughs> yeah. Tell them you're interested by saying I love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I 
I feel like women friends in anime always give the worst <laughs> advice. Hey, I just met you, and I love you! <laughs> I know they didn't just meet, but... Ah. <sighs> Huh. Uh-oh. Right now. Oh my god. <laughs> How cute are you? Doki. <laughs> Oh my god. Why do I feel like he doesn't know? <laughs> Toki Toki. Ooh. <laughs> She's doomed. Also, why did Sakura transform? Oh no. <laughs> Stop hitting her. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> he still has no idea. Get some alcohol in her, maybe she could say what she thinks. Maybe. Oh my god. So... <laughs> Did you say that out loud? Stop saying that out loud! <laughs> that reaction.
<laughs> you you get your own hopes up. Psycho Scales Judge Guy. Nice name. Well put, Yanny. Okay. Hmm. Vanessa? Gordon? So creepy. Oh god. Is that a is that a Jebate or is it actually Gordon? I guess we won't know. Interesting. All right. What a wacky episode. <clears throat> I like how, like... <clears throat> sometimes characters just don't even get the, uh... Like, the recognition, maybe they should. Like, I, I was just looking at these credits, and in the in the credits, they credited a uh, Blue Rose Knight member, and it just, like, listed that off, like, that same thing, like, ten times, and just listed a bunch of different names. So it's like, those are obviously the vo voice actresses that played the Blue Rose Knight members that we don't know the names of, you know? But... <laughs> That, like, I'd have no idea which one is which because of that, you know? To know, like, oh, that that girl, what part did she play, you know? And it's like, well, you'd have to recognize the voice, I guess. But, like, they got recognition in the credits, but not, like, full recognition. But anyway, that is it, guys, for episode uh, 126. So... Yeah, it was a fun one. Um, a little bit over the top, as as Black Clover typically is, you know. I'm I'm used to it at this point, so it doesn't really like bug me all that much. But it was a a little bit much with the Charlotte being obsessed over, you know, what Yami thinks of her, what he knows, you know, what she thinks of him, and and freaking out and and running off, and that that sequence of her running off. I think it would have been much funnier if we would have seen her, like, zoom out of the room like she did, and then we cut to the scene where Yami is looking out the window and you see her just, like, cross the river, I feel like that could have been a lot funnier than seeing her run all through town, like, run through a guy, you know, grab a baby by mistake, even though it was kind of funny, her grabbing the baby, but... Um, and then her running past another guy, seemingly... I don't even know what that one was. Was, was she stopping a robbery? Was that guy leaving the store with, like, a bag of, like, jewelry that he was stealing? And then she ran into him and the bag of jewelry fell into the owner's hand? Is that what was happening? I'm not even quite sure. But either way, it was, I mean, it had its, like, funny parts. But I think it could have been, like, my kind of humor is, like, the short and sweet, you know? I So I would have found it funny if she just stormed out of the room and then you'd see her, like, zooming off into the distance kind of thing. Um, but... But yeah, in in typical Charlotte fashion, she was very awkward about Yami, and she was even thinking about him right before he showed up, you know, and then he showed up, and of course she loses her shit. 
Um, I will say this episode specifically, I don't know why, I'm sure it happened in a lot of the other ones, but I liked her, the voice actress's, like, ability to shift from, like, a very, like, more, more deeper, mature, serious voice, you know? And, and then transition into, like, the goofy goober that is Charlotte's internal, you know, experience and, and everything. Um, I felt like those two voices seem so different, like, I have to give props to, like, the voice actress for, I mean, you know, I probably would never be able to recognize her voice anywhere else, because either I'd recognize the serious voice when she does that serious voice for another role, or I'd recognize the goofy voice, but I don't know if I could ever really, like, be, like, because of, like, the two different voices, like, merging in my mind, I don't think I could ever watch a show and be like, oh yeah, that's Charlotte from Black Clover, but, uh... But yeah, um, I bet you anything that voice actress has done a bunch of roles that I've seen. Uh, I mean, a lot of voice actor uh, actors and actresses do a lot of different roles, and I've seen a lot of different anime. So I imagine I've seen one where where she's in, and I just I'm really bad at identifying voice actors anyway. But either way, um, we spent this episode going to see Charlotte, trying to get info about the Curse of Wegg. It took basically the entire episode to get the info, which. Which stinks, but I know I know we're winding down from an arc. I mean, I said it last episode where I I fully expect that we're gonna be dealing with like silly episodes like this for a little bit until the arc really starts going. Like I do think that this might have been the start to the arc because we got this info of like uh, cast by a mage that used like forbidden magic from another world because they had like a grudge on the family. So. One option is, I don't know if it's even possible to find that mage that did that, but it's probably not. But another option is supposedly maybe Gordon, unless they were, like, juking us out. But but Charlotte was saying that Gordon's been touched by, like, or she was saying someone in the uh, Black Bull squad has been touched by more forbidden magic than than she has or, or whatnot, so... And then it cut to Gordon, which obviously, with typical anime rules, it's either a red herring or it's Gordon, you know, so... But it's probably Gordon. Um, I'm wondering what that's going to be about, and I'm sure, since it's involving Gordon, it's going to be another goofy episode while we try to get info, you know. But I have a feeling this is kind of like the start to their investigation. I mean, obviously it's the start to their investigation, but I mean like the start to the arc where they're investigating... And as it progresses, it'll probably get more serious, I imagine. But, but yeah, um, I like the reaction of like her telling her squad and being like, "I'm prepared to resign." You know, I like a guy, <laughs> and, and like all of them like freak out and they're like, "Hey, I have a secret boyfriend too." Another one's like, "Yeah, me too," <laughs> and she's just like, "Huh?" <laughs> like the exception wasn't for you guys too. You guys are all removed from the squad. <laughs> that would suck for them. Um, but, but yeah, it's funny how the captain tried to keep up this, uh, facade of, like, oh, we're gonna have this squad of, of women who are, you know, against relying on men, you know, and, uh, and it turns out, like, and, and I guess with extension, I mean, you can have a boyfriend and not rely on a man, you know, but, uh, like, it seems like they were correlating those two together of, like, oh, you know, I can't, uh, I can't have a boyfriend because of these rules I instilled in my in my people and and everything and like two seconds later they all flip out saying like they have boyfriends and stuff it's just it's just funny like it, it turns out that everything that she's been like working for and and everything is just for nothing anyway in in terms of that but but anyway <clears throat> I had fun with the episode um but I think that's really all I have to say, I mean, I don't really know what else happened. I mean, I liked Asta's input of saying, like, that's probably the closest we're going to get of Asta, like, realizing the feelings of Noel Because obviously, he realized that there's something about Noel that makes her act weird around him. And he decided that he doesn't know what it is. So he's going to go with the idea that it's that she trusts him, you know? And 
really, it's that she likes him, you know, even though she probably wouldn't admit it to herself anyway, or she probably wouldn't admit it out loud, you know. She's basically... Noelle and uh, Charlotte are, are very similar, where they're they're all up in their head, and that's where Asta drew the the comparison and everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, the uh, I did like what he had to say though, is like correlating it to to trust or whatever, you know. So even though it's not exactly what they're feeling, it's probably the closest we're gonna get to Asta understanding that. Uh, she acts different around him and addressing it without also addressing the fact that she just likes him, you know? So, but anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you want to see more from me. You can on there. There should be a couple episodes ahead. There should be Patreon-exclusive shows like Mob Psycho Season 2 I'm going through. Lucifer is on there as well. There's some other shows and everything, so check it out. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.